So it's very hard to be a futurist accurately. That's sort of the point, is that it, we won't know. Um, if we went back 20 years from today, so when I was your age, it was 20 years ago, and uh, I was aware that the internet existed in 1989, uh, but if you would have told me then that we would have a global free encyclopedia that was as good as the Encyclopedia Britannica, that was compiled entirely by volunteers, I'd have thought you were insane. Uh, if you told me that we would have free software that ran this global internet that was built by volunteers, I would have thought you were crazy. Um, or that my organization would exist and there would be 500 million objects on the web under open copyright license. So sort of by definition, the things that surprise us are surprising. Um, my hope is that we look back and we say, you know, I, I can't believe that it wasn't obvious that we needed to have open infrastructure. Um, I can't believe that there was even a debate that, 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 that we might close off pieces of the network. Um, because, you know, right now it is a question. And so my hope is that the biggest surprise 20 years ago is that we were even having this conversation that it wasn't obvious that internet was a human right, that it wasn't obvious that networks needed to be open at their core. Um, so that's sort of my cautious answer. Uh, my non-cautious answer would be, you know, I hope that looking back we would say it's amazing that we've been able to basically take the entire canon of knowledge that we've built in journal articles and textbooks and make it machine-readable and machine-connectable. And that we get something akin to Wikipedia for textbooks and for scientific information that is much more valuable than some of those books.